Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Educational Gamer and we are playing NASA and this is hopefully the great finale. So we are trying to get to the moon. Uh, we might do this before the Soviets uh, get there. And we are going to use the Gemini Direct Descent craft over here. Uh, you can pause the video and read the flavor text. I'm not going to do that because I have told you many times this is a direct approach uh, to land a Gemini aircraft, spacecraft rather, uh, on the moon in a single go have two astronauts do some missions there so nine day mission uh, we are going to use that and we are going to send these people into space with this program so um let's briefly look at that no i think we can briefly look at it as such so you can see it consists of 21 stages in total uh, the preparations the countdown the launch <clears throat> and the ascent and basically the orbit insertion. So as you can see in these steps, uh, it's mostly going to be the Saturn V booster that's going to carry us up there. Uh, this is the main involvement during these type, types of the flight, or the stages of the flight. Once we have established an orbit, uh, we are going to send our spacecraft to the moon with both of these um, aspects. So you can see the Gemini spacecraft itself and the direct descent module, which is a little bit behind that actually. So it's very hard to, to see that actually. Right. Uh, once we are at the moon, uh, of course, we're going to get our uh, uh, Saturn V booster, and it's only going to be the aircraft, spacecraft in orbit around the moon. We're going to park around the moon, get a stable orbit, then we're going to make a powered descent with the entire spacecraft. That is the big difference to the Apollo mission, uh, where the command module stayed in lunar orbit. This time, the entire thing is going to go down on the moon, hopefully in one piece. It's going to land there. We're going to do some uh, surface activities. We will need both of these suits and that is a little bit of a critical step because the reliability of these things is not that great. Um, then we will take off again with the entire thing and we'll ascend and get back into orbit and establish our way back to Earth. Get back to Earth and then probably um, as we re-enter the atmosphere it's only going to be the Gamma and I. Spacecraft. 21 steps, it's going to be very tough to do that. The Gemini spacecraft itself is very reliable at 96% over here. The booster, 92%. The ascent module, 87 and the spacesuit, only 85%. Um, still, that is what we're going to do. We're going to receive a small penalty because we haven't put a man in a lunar orbit. So, haven't put anyone in an orbit around uh, the moon. We could do that. But then again, that would itself have a penalty because we haven't passed. Sorry, haven't sent anyone past the moon. Could, of course, send someone around the moon, but then it would just take too long. And I think the Soviets are very close to conducting their own mission. So let's schedule this mission. And it does tell us that, of course, we do need three astronauts. So uh, let's free up the people from training who are in training. And we are, of course, going to look for the best leaders. Nigel. Nigel is likely going to be the one, the um, capsule communicator, so the one on the ground who is um, conducting the talks with the uh, flight crew. Karen over here, one of our staple pilots, I think very good all around, just n more than 90% all around, so we are going to remove her from training and that should be alright. So that is the first pilot that we are going to choose. This second one, uh, historically we've been choosing Mauricio a lot, um, and he might still be good. And again, Karen over here is starting to look pretty good as well. On the other hand, we do want to do an EVA. So Karen is just not very well trained for that, so I don't think we'll use her. So maybe the choice is really between Cynthia and Mauricio. They're both pretty good leaders. They're both pretty good pilots. Mauricio is just slightly better at EVAs. Fitness is about the same. But, on the other hand, your science is a little bit better. So, I would appreciate that. Also, you're undergoing training. Think for piloting. Let's remove you from training. To be alright, you will probably be a little bit... You know what, let's remove her from training as well. It does give us a bit more of a comparison. So if we do need science, I think Mauritius is. If we do need EVAs, then we're going to go for Cynthia. So that should be fine. Now we can open the program. 
Let's get to Gemini Direct Descent and the Lunar Landing. Schedule the mission? Yes. Yes, we know that we are taking some risk. So, as you can see, we need a lot of ground controllers. Um, of course, the most important is going to be the flight director. That is uh, Federos over here. He's the best at doing that. The assistant flight director is going to be Chesity. Both of these very good people. Um, Booster, Paul, age 47, but a very good person at that. Um, then I would like to make sure yeah, that all of these guiding people, so tra 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 trajectory people, 97.8, that's pretty much as good as they come. GNC, likewise, yeah, so these are very, very good people. The surgeon, the flight surgeon, is going to be Eric over here. Likewise, the Inco is going to be... Is it going to be Javier? Really? What about Caitly? Are you in training? Is anyone in training? Kathy. Yeah, let's remove you from training. I think you're a little bit better at that, actually. Anyone else? Mission operations. I think you need to be removed from training. Let's remove the people who are above 97. Uh, because definitely these are the people that we probably want on our most crucial mission. Good. So that's fine. Need to go back over here and assemble the rest of the mission. So where was I? Inco, I think. Yeah, see, you all at least a percentage point better. So that's the discount for something. 7097. Oh, here we go. This is our Capcom, so our capsule communicator. Um, I do think we want Paul for that. So, uh, sorry, on the astronaut side, of course. So, uh, Nigel, I'm sorry. Yeah, you need to be removed from training. Didn't get you actually any improvement, but that's fine. Capcom, there we go. Nigel Networks. 97.7. .7. Procedures, 97.8. 97. This is an extremely good crew. I think this is the best crew I've ever had. Even the flight directors are above, well above 80, so that's very good to see. Let's confirm these assignments and watch out for our commanders over here. So, for the commander... We need a lot of leadership, we need a lot of piloting, and we need a lot of fitness. We also need a little bit of science, for example in the Translunar Coast. And I would have thought that we need some EVA. Oh yeah, we do need some. It's a very small activity though, just only on the lunar surfaces, so actually science might be a little bit more interesting. So we got 15 percentage points on signs from the translunar coast. 10 percentage points from the lunar orbit. On the lunar surface activities another 10 percentage points. On the trans earth coast another 15 points of signs. Yes, yeah, so the science is actually much more important than um, than EVA activities. At any rate, Karen, she's good of all. Um, and on the balance, I think my ratio here has some better signs. Uh, the EVA here is significantly better. All the other stats are somewhat similar, more or less, so my ratio is going to be it. And let's confirm these assignments. Does cost us a lot of money, but I do think this might be worthwhile. So let's make sure that we are good at getting the last bit of research in here as we can. 0.5% improvement on this. 0.8 on that. All of the other things are something different on the rocket. <laughs> Just four people working on that and it's only 0.1 percentage point increase. Nevertheless, I do think this is a fine selection. So let's go ahead. Let's end the season. Let's see whether we can get to the moon. Right. Here we go. Oh, okay. We have the Pioneer 11. Uh, so turn flyby. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's uh, watch that. Let's monitor that from the flight control. It's just just a single flight through Earth, Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter is very far away. Okay, I think probably next time we can skip this step. Simply flying around. Yeah, still, it's nice to see the animation. Season two out of twenty-one. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, I think next time we can skip these. Skip these. Just very marginal improvement. On the other hand, some uh, improvement on the spacecraft itself, so that's nice to see. But here it is, the main one. So, let's launch the mission and let's watch it from mission control. We are risking our two best uh, astronauts over here and, of course, the reliability of all of our spacecraft systems. So, this is really critical and really, really tense. <sighs> let's see. So, Ten, preparations nine. are good. Ignition sequence start. Five, four, we have ignition. Countdown successful. So far, so good. Launch seems to be going on all right, yeah? The ascent, of course, a critical step. With only four out of 21. So far, so good. Very good. Now we just need to orbit. So we did run um, an uncrewed version of this flight before and they did encounter a problem between number 7 and 8. That's Lunar Insurgent seems to be alright. Yeah, that's very good. So that means that at the very least our rocket will be more reliable. Good. So historically, this is one of the longest well, durations, I think, good. just approaching the moon. Now they're getting to the dark side of the moon, where probably it wouldn't be seen. Okay, our flight controller is gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Yeah, get go. a lunar orbit go. first before you go for landing, please. Go. Go. Successful. Go. Very good. So the it starts to get critical. So land on the moon. Actual, actual landing on the moon. Okay, you're 31 feet per second. Okay, yes. stop. Okay, so we did it so far. Now the EVAs are going to come in. The uh, spacesuits. One of the most critical elements of our space, of our of sequence over here. Nearly spoke over Neil Armstrong over there with his famous words. Just look at that. Two rocks side by side, uh, meter or two in diameter. Beautiful, like and here we go, the American flag on the moon. But, <laughs> but we do see some problem occurring, and that's uh, not that great. We actually don't have the funds to even hire a single team, so yeah, I th I'm afraid we need to skip this, and, and we have a 68% chance that everything is going to be alright, but it just might not. Let's see. Come on. No! No! Oh my god! Failure! Oh, what a nice day. Oh. Failure! Our mission failed on the moon! And I think our astronauts died on the moon! Oh my god, this is horrible! What happened? So 10 was successful, 11 was successful. 12, 13, catastrophic failure. Catastrophic failure on, on some combination of the EVA suits and the Gemini. And we lost our two best pilots. This is disheartening. Gemini spacecraft... Oh my god. And the Soviets are successful in doing some things. Uncrewed lunar flyby, circum lunar flight. Oh my god. Orbital flight, spacewalk. Doing everything at the same time. And we lost two astronauts. Oh my god. And we lose some money on top of that. That is horrible. That was a horrible, horrible result. Okay, so our research in the EVA suits is going on. Likewise on the direct ascent vehicle. I think on the rocket program we should be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so actually these things have maxed out now. 
I guess we can research the Saturn 3 boost over here, even though it's starting to get a little bit irrelevant. Saturn 1 booster. Oh my god. So will we get to go have another go? What's the highest priority over here? Yeah, so I, th I think we need a little bit more time to, to research these. So I don't want to go directly ahead with another with another flight mission over here. In particular, I'm not sure how our astronauts are doing. You need more science. You are all in all pretty good. Maybe a little bit more leadership. Maybe a little bit more... No, no, I think leadership. Um... Greg, I think you are our second best, second best flight director. So let's get you to at least 96.9. You're pretty good as well, just the EVA needs a little bit of work. And you can be another communicator class. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Okay, let's, let's get back on track though and let's start to do some things over here. You can train. Oop, no, 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 no. Train in this. Until you are at least there. You're at 97.7%. Is that enough to warrant a switch over here? It is not. So, uh, let's just train you up in that again then. Okay, and our flight directors need more training. So, Federus. So I think we're gonna at least take f three seasons so that we can, um, so that we can recover a little bit, get a little bit better, maybe be a little bit more successful next time. Well, it's significantly more successful, hopefully. Uh, you can't really do anything else. Well, just do something else then. Um, no improvement whatsoever. Some improvements. Some improvements. It started to get really, really small. I, I noticed that, but um, you know what? Since we are, so first of all, the Saturn V booster, you can be a little bit better. So, if we were to use you for one of our other programs, that might still be sensible. So, I think we are using Pioneer Eleven. We could do Marina 9. It's a Mars mission. I like Mars missions. How likely are you to succeed? Somewhat. And we could pick, instead of this rocket, the Saturn 5. And get a little bit of an improvement on that one as well. I mean, it's much, much, much more costly. But I do think it's alright. Yeah. Let's do this. Summon now. Who's a good flight director? You are not a good flight director, but still. Virgin, yeah, fine. Um, Luke, I don't think I want you. Esra, you might be a better choice for this. Navigation, Ellen, no. Frank, no. Grayson. Grayson, yes. Experiments. Not Eric, not Kathy, Javier is fine. So I do want to pick people who are not uh, used for our training, uh, for our primary flight. Although Laura, I think you are actually needed for, for the trajectory thingy. 61 compared to your 71. Hmm. Yeah, we still have so many people, so... Who is a good flight director? All of you are. Frank, come back please. You, you're you not needed um, in training because you'll not be on, on the lunar mission. So that means we can put Frank over here. You're still better, so that's fine. Let's confirm these assignments. Costing us 10 million. 
uh, but that at least does give us a little bit more prestige by by launching some people into space. Right, that does mean we can go ahead and train all of you up at, as long as you show any improvement whatsoever I'm gonna do it. Simply because every little bit helps and I'm really paranoid after after this uh, last time. So here we go. You'd actually not get any better so let's get you to maybe long term be a flight director. No. And yes. And yes, so here we go. That should be fine. I guess we want to hire probably two more recruits over here in the astronaut training. 95%, 95%. You're very good, so you'll be our replacements. You're 36 though. I would much rather like Patricia. He's a little bit worse, but much younger, so there's more more long-term benefit. Of course, probably they are not going to be uh, part of our uh, flight pattern, but all in all, I think that's going to be all right. <sighs> Let's end the season. What a catastrophic failure that was. And we're just so slowly eking up over here on, on the reliabilities. Yeah, that really did cost us a lot of time as well. Um, I think we can just resume the mission, skip to outcome. I think it's just a coast, yeah. Successful mission, more improvements, that's nice to see. Uh, the Mars 9 orbiter, yeah, we can watch that launch at the very least. Status, Fido. Go. Booster, go. GNC, go. Eagle, go. Ecom, we're going. Go very good. 15, 14, 13, Hoping to 12, push up the rocket 11, a little bit in its reliability. 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, there's a problem. Zero. We hope that it's going to go away, Launch otherwise, commit. we'll have Lift failed off. in our we mission. Not just this mission, but um, actually increasing the reliability of the rocket. But it did seem we did solve that problem, so that's nice to see. We have lift off. We have lift off at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The pitch and roll program are in. And the launch of the um, miles down range, the S2 has ignited. Turn five is so loud. I don't want to really talk about it. Thrust is okay on down. the S2. The booster says we've got a good second stage. Here we go. Deployment. Yes, sir. Good tank pressure. And Looking good. Ready. Okay. Very nice. Light side. We're right on the nominal. <coughs> Roger on the nominal. Fire. Here, go for deploy. And here we go on Earth Moth Transit. Successfully. Good to see. Very little points, of course, because there's no signs being done yet, but. All in all, I think that's going to be all right. Yeah, some nice upgrades, nearly a percentage point there. Lovely to see. Rendezvous. They're really, really getting there. Significant technical discovery will boost the result of our R&D. That's very nice to see. Um, so let's briefly check on our things over here. So, you know what? This actually has run its course. It's it's so reliable already. Although, on the other hand, it's taking such a long time. Yeah, but still, the improvements really not that worthwhile. Improvements on Marina 9 over here. I don't think we can... We need these people. Let's keep one of you guys working on that. Uh, which I think is going to be alright. And then Pioneer 10. You are the one that I probably want to launch next. Uh, because you will take the longest to get to your target. Uh, we can actually go back to the solar system and have a look at what other things we need. So uh, we did everything we can on the Sun, likewise on Mercury. Uh, we are doing things over here. So that does bring us to Mars again. Uh, so if Marina 9 is successful, uh, the next obvious step would be Mars Viking Orbiter and Lander. And I think we can open this program.
It's going to cost us a little bit, but that's fine. TPI. We can use, must use the Saturn V actually over here. But that is fine. Um, if, we, if we can use that to boost the reliability a little bit, that wouldn't be too bad. So yeah, I think that's going to be all right. That does mean we can research other things. So let's manage that. Again, I think someone over here is definitely worthwhile. Over here, not so much. This is a small improvement anyway, so... Let's get someone over there who's maybe not that great at these things anyway. Um, you can do this. And then we have Viking Orbiter and Viking Space Probe. Okay, so we have two things over here uh, that need to be worked on. That's fine. I think you're the one that's a little bit more difficult, yeah. So I need to get the more important persons over here. Yeah, so that's about the seven, the same improvement. Three people here, two people here. So I think that's fine. Good. So, um, what do we have in terms of open missions? I think the two open missions over here, right? Yes, that's correct. You're 21 seasons. Oh, you have three seasons as well, so you need to be careful about that. Now, what I think we could do is on the Gemini Direct Ascend, we could repeat our uncrewed lunar orbital flight test. And the reason for this is it would boost the reliability of our direct ascent vehicle without risking further further pilots. It would cost us a lot of money. But I do think it's worthwhile. We require 11 flight controllers. Yeah, well, we can get these. By the way, who is finished over here? Lawrence. Um, yeah, your signs. Can definitely pull some people off. And I think that might be a good idea. So yeah, let's remove you. I think that's going to be all right. Zero percent improvement. But actually, I think you did jump by one, so it's all right. 0.1 You would probably need a flight controller. That's a little bit discerning. Um, hmm. 97. Yeah. 97. So, no less, let's start that. Gemini Direct Ascent. Lunar Orbital Flight. Schedule Mission. Eight fly control. This mission requests thirteen. Okay, I thought eleven. My bad. Right. Um. Hmm. Then who else is in training? You can be removed. You're out trained anyway. Likewise. Likewise. Okay, I think that might be alright. So let's see what else we need. So another test flight. Oh, sorry, not the lunar orbital flight, the uncrewed lunar orbital flight. Yes, let's assemble that now. Uh, who's the flight director? Ooh, Paul. I think I need Paul on the booster. Well, Dominic might be fine. You're 74, 72. All the other ones are pretty good, except the systems. Need a better, better systems person. Spacecraft systems. This way. Uh, yeah, let's remove you from training. Who are our best flight directors? Well, two of them are busy. That's a little bit of a problem, yeah. These two I do want to keep though because they are being trained up and that will improve our overall 
our overall potential. So yeah, I think we'll go for the people as is. So yeah, let's confirm these assignments. Again, very, very costly over here. But all in all, we are very close to our uh, max objective. So I think that's fine. And... You know what? I think this is a very good place to put in a cut. So next time we will see 1970. And hopefully, hopefully gonna get to the moon by the mid of 1970. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry that it didn't work this time. Bye bye.